All right, so here's some progress, some more progress on the 16-bit CPU from the NAND to Tetris program. So far, we have uh, the TNC 4.1 that's still emulating the ROM. It's just sending machine code to the input. Over here, uh, as mentioned before, we have basically the ALU and the register and the CPU control logic over there. And what I've been working on for the past couple of weeks or week is this part, These, uh, this module right here. And this is the uh, memory control. Now, essentially what happens is you have the output from the ALU that goes to a multiplexer and this multiplexer goes to another sort of multiplexer. Now, actually this, this uh, multiplexer array here isn't actually technically needed, but it's use, it's like there for uh, future things. It's just, just in case. But this is probably the, um, the part that took me the most time to figure out. And that was that I was, I'm using a uh, parallel EEPROM, not EEPROM. I am using a parallel EEPROM. That one's right here, but I haven't opened the, that one yet. That's going to replace the TNC. But I was using a, um, a parallel SRAM chip. And this SRAM chip, it's the, what do you call it? This SRAM chip is the AS... 6C62256 is a pretty popular one, but the problem is that the data, it has a data input and output pins. So its data bus serves as input and output rather than separate. And so I had to kind of come up with this kind of a hack solution, um, not a very elegant solution, but I just basically just use five volt relays to multiplex between, okay, do I want to send this signal into the data? Or do I want to read this data? So if I want to read this, we want to read the data, then I have to physically disconnect this bus, the output bus. And the only way that really I was able to feasibly do this was through these relays where I just have, you know, it's literally just a bare on and off switch. I can switch between a data going in and data going in, um, uh, data going out. Now, these two long wires, this is the memory, this is a memory address from the A register, and this is the data bus. So this will go into the uh, CPU, and because of these two wires, you're able to perform something like, I don't know, you can say like register, you can say the, mem the memory at register location A, and then use that as a computation in the arithmetic logic unit. So um, I know that was a bit of a, kind of a bit of a word salad, but you know, this has been a really interesting summer project so far. Um, what, so, and actually, let me, let me give a demonstration. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold down this button, it's gonna go through a couple of clock cycles and we're gonna see that when, the, when you can hear the relays click, that means that the memory has been stored. So there we go. And after a couple of iterations, we can see here that uh, the program that it's supposed to write is would set A to this value, which is, uh, if I type it in my calculator, 1, 1, Zero 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 one 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 zero one zero. That's equal to in binary one two three four five six, which is um, the command register A equals M plus one. So that is correct, uh, which is very good to hear or see, not hear. So the next uh, the next step uh, that was a bug. The next step in this project is to uh, get rid of this TNC and put in one of these, the SRAM chip. Not SRAM, the EEPROM. And this EEPROM, I'm afraid that I'm gonna have to do something similar to these relays in terms that this has a data, an data input output bus, but you know, we're not gonna worry about that right now. Right now, I'm just happy to see that so far, things um, at this point, 
everything seems to be working. And now we can go, I can go ahead and uh, move forward with this.